would it detract from our creative and thinking processes to hold a silent mind? No, I think it, it will add, and in fact, I was going to speak a little more about that. In fact, if you have a silent mind, and a silent mind requires openness of mind, Openness means that the man is open to view everything that is in the, in the field of its view. So it's open. It's open for information. And uh, in that silence, we allow our intuitive power to become more active. So at the heart of creativity is the ability to intuit new ideas, um, new visions, we need the power to intuit. So uh, our creativity can become even better by, uh, by learning to have a silent mind. Now a silent mind does not mean um, a mind that is uh, not observing, or a mind that is not alert, or a mind that is not attentive. Um, even though it may seem to be vacant, but it should be a mind that is highly alert, highly attentive to what is before it, but quiet, silent, and open. And open for intuition. Because our thinking should not be what we want to say, but our, our mind should always be open to what we need to hear. So if I'm having a conversation with you, I need to listen very clearly to what you're saying without creating points of view whilst you're speaking, because then I'm not able to capture in fullness what you're saying. So silence also gives us an amazing power of listening, an amazing power of attentiveness, and an amazing power of intuition when we learn to keep the mind open, and that's at the heart of creativity. Where does emotions fit into the relationship with yeah, breath that's another and good mind? Question. That's a very, another good question. Because we are multidimensional, and that is best shown by the chakra model. Chakra model, we have, um, with the mind, we have five lower chakras. The sixth chakra is the, is the mental chakra, which is the agya chakra. Then the five lower chakras involves uh, other aspects of our multidimensional being. So the throat space that is connected to listening. The heart is, uh, air, it's uh, associated with the air element and touch, the navel with the fire element and seeing, fire and light, the sacral chakra and the water element and taste, and the root chakra with the earth element and smell. And all these chakras are connected by a, channel, a pranic channel that we can experience with the breath, when the breath awareness becomes subtle. When we can actually feel the pran of the breath, then we'll be led into chakra awareness. So when we learn to, to manage the breath, which I'll be teaching, and, um, and also I'll be, I'll be guiding as to how to get into the subtle awareness of the breath. When we learn to manage the breath, we learn to manage the senses, and we learn to manage the mind. So it's extremely important to consider all the aspects of being. Now, the, in the chakras, the heart chakra is the emotional center. So though our brain is connected uh, uh, to emotion, but it's also connected through the heart. So that's a heart-brain connection, our emotion and, and thought. So they work together. Notice the, the mental part is here, and just below there in the chest area is the emotional part of us, the emo emotional center. So when we have deeper spiritual experiences, we'll actually feel this love energy emanating from the heart. And, um, but the mind is a primary center of intelligence. We may say that the heart is also an intelligent, intelligent center, so because we have emotional intelligence, but this intelligence of the heart is really governed by the mind or the major brain. And then we have uh, also the intelligence of the gut. So we have not only emotion, um, but we have the gut experiences as well. Some, sometimes we will feel fear in the gut, or we can feel um, a lot of confidence coming from the gut. And gut is about physical body. So if we were to um, uh, energize the nervous system of the gut through breathing, we can actually feel a boost in our vitality and, and self-confidence. And if we were to focus on the heart, 
in, in the breathing exercises, we'll actually begin to feel a release of emotional tension and, and the ease of being loving and compassionate. So that's what the heart brings, and heart is connected to touch. So the moment we become more heart-focused, we'll actually feel that the touch becomes more energized. So mind and heart are connected. To, to manage the heart, you need an intelligent mind, or an intuitive mind, or an alert mind, or an aware mind. So mind is like the, 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 the highest center of intelligence, but the heart is also there uh, um, to give us that emotional experience.